Basically, so you saying that when you was right, because they they in the uh the chat, so help me please. And so you agree that was you wrote all this out the whole you? whole thing I wrote, bro. I'm I'm right into the warden. Like, look, this the situation I'm in. You got to make it sound some type of something. Nah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what I'm gonna be like, like hey, hey, warden. I'm big gangster, but let me out of confinement. You think they finna? Nah, that's gonna work like that, and they probably looking at my DRs because I already done been for confinement. For weapons and everything else already when it happened so it's like once that happened they boosted up my custody level to closed custody i got shipped off the unit in a gang sweep so they sent all the bloods and zoes in one bus back to reception and then i ended up going to an adult prison so i had to finish my confinement time at Appalachian ci and then i got in the more when i got over there i was fighting in there whatever whatever so that's how i ended up doing 210 days of confinement it's amazing to me how y'all let views, somebody with a lot of views and somebody with a lot of followers and got a social media presence, y'all let them just hit y'all with the 42 fake out. I tried to warn y'all about 1090 Jake, but I guess since my following ain't big as his, y'all don't listen to the small channels, but uh, we be on shit and we be peeping shit way before y'all, believe it or not. But I can show y'all white boys have been telling us about 1090 Jake over a year ago. Let's go. Why what the inmates was doing? To get drugs in a Florida prison. Every single compound I hit, there was all types of drugs on there, whether it's prescription pills, molly, some spots it was cocaine and mass, but nothing more common than K2. Jacob Cherry, a former inmate, posted the videos to YouTube. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, he says Florida inmates currently behind. Okay. okay. One is that lost his girl to a snitch is snitching, even though there ain't no crime involved. Is this snitching right in a lawsuit the second you get to a prison saying that you getting beat by the COs because you don't want to be at that prison and you was allegedly on PC at this? Pr is that snitching? Is it snitching when you name drop the COs that are supposedly killing you slowly? Doing all type of shit towards you. Is that snitching? Because, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that ain't snitching. I know this ain't snitching. But one of these two things can actually result in somebody getting arrested, investigated, fucked up, right? Now, I remember C07652. The grievance would tell 1090 Jake's version of the story to the warden of the prison. And this is what it said. On January 16th, 2014, I was sitting on my bunk when inmate Jimmy Horry, K08763, hit me with a rock and sock on my head. This was during morning shift change. The officer came in and cuffed him, then checked all the inmates and found Mark Cherry was also assaulted. More staff came and then cuffed me, Mark Cherry, and Jerry Lewis. We were all taken to the back room of B dorm. Inmates Horry and Lewis were said to be the assaulters and me and Mark Cherry the victims. I then witnessed Sergeant Martin start beating inmate Jerry Lewis. Eventually, Sergeant Martin, Captain Sapp, Officer Coy, and a few other officers that were called for emergency traffic beat inmate Lewis and inmate Horry. Captain Sapp then told us, I don't care who did what. All of you are getting charges if you write anything but what I say. We'll beat your fucking ass till you need to go to the hospital. 1090 Jake would then write, I was then forced to write that I was assaulted and fought back in self-defense, which is untrue. Officer Coy, who wrote me two DRs, possession of weapon, and assault on an inmate, lied in both statements. He says he witnessed me assaulted with a lock tied to a sock and says I struck another inmate with a rock in my hand. I was clearly hit with a rock which broke off of my head into two pieces and spread pebbles of asphalt all over my property. I am a victim in this case. I was assaulted by an inmate, then threatened and blackmailed by staff. This is the second grievance I've written. I believe the first was thrown out by an officer. I have informed my family who will be contacting Tallahassee for an investigation and getting a lawyer if I'm not released from confinement. I have been assaulted, threatened, and blackmailed and am pending CM, which is close management, for charges I never committed. Please help me. Thank you. Based on this grievance, it appears that 1090 Jake is trying to tell the warden, hey, I am a victim. I was assaulted. Didn't even fight back. Mm. This makes me money. Right. This is business. Business is booming. So 
it is what the fuck it is. I don't care. That leads us to the story of Jimmy Horry, the black inmate who terrorized 1090 Jake during his stay at Lancaster Correctional Institute. Horry would find himself incarcerated at Lancaster Correctional Institute as well. And while we are not sure exactly what happened, 1090 Jake would claim that Jimmy's actions were a result of a previous attack perpetrated by one of Jake's guys against a member of the Zoes. What we do know is that on the morning of January 16, 2014, an officer would claim that around 6 a.m. he observed inmates Cherry and Hoyer fighting. Inmate Cherry armed with a rock and inmate Hoyer armed with a lock and a sock. The officer would claim he ordered both inmates to stop and that both complied. A simple fighting ticket, basically. 1090 Jake would go on to claim that the contents of this ticket were not true. He would state that the Blood Brothers told him not to fight back and to lay down and just bleed so that when the officers came, he would look like the victim and not have to move out of the dorm. Review of 1090 Jake's overall inmate record shows that he was, in fact, housed at Lancaster Correctional Institute on January 16, 2014. Review of his inmate disciplinary actions also shows that on January 16, 2014, he was, in fact, charged with possession of a weapon, battery assault on an inmate. While looking at this classic snitch reach about, oh, tell me that you're not going to go file a police report if someone hits your car. Are you just let somebody hit your car? That's what you're going to do? You that gangster that when someone hits your car, you ain't going to go to the police department and get the shit you got to write out. Nah, because you're so gangster. That's what you're doing? Yeah. No, uh, gang members don't file police reports. They'll get someone. When we see 1090 Jake talking about snitches, he's usually like this. It was at that time that I knew that he snitched because I seen the paperwork. If it's on paperwork, you know what I mean? He's really calm, cool, collected, but not on this video. He actually tries to start out cool and in character, but he breaks character as soon as the heat turns up in the chat. All he sees is rat emojis of all different colors and cheese emoji. I mean, he's really getting fucked with. So his cadence changes. He starts going, how am I supposed to be on paperwork if I, it was a grievance. Wait until you hear this fuck. This is a different Jake. So this is our first clip. This is going to be Jake uh, nervously trying to explain why uh, what he did is not snitching. And he says that it's because it's a grievance. So you're allowed to snitch as long as it's called a grievance or, or something like that. I don't know. Let's listen to 1090 Jake explain. What like, all right, so explain what the difference between a grievance and a statement is because niggas going to like, that's still telling if you write some shit out. You know what I'm saying? So, like, break that down. Your statement is going to be whatever you initially fucking, I think, like, whenever the shit actually happened. I don't even remember if we wrote a statement or they just wrote it for us and, like, forged our name because we all got cuffed up because I was one of the ones that got taken to medical. Because me and dude both got hit up. And the other two just got beat. And then they tried to say, like, when they beat the f out of him, all the shit that they did to his face, they said that I did it. Yeah. So a grievance, a grievance could be anything, bro. Like, you got a sock with a hole in it. You got whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just a yeah. grievance is like a complaint or an appeal or... Like, I don't really know how to put it in civilian terms because they don't really have the same shit. All right, so Jake is trying to say that he what he did was complain about other inmates and officers, and he didn't make a police report, so it's not snitching. When, in fact, complaints are, are what give rise to investigations that can cause charges to be uh, brought on people. There's no, that that's the reason for complaint forms. <laughs> so, because it, it's documentation so they can go back and pull the document if this inmate gets in trouble in the future or if they decide to uh, raise a new investigation, if it's that serious. So Jake is actually extremely stupid for uh, trying to assert this as a difference. So, okay. all right, another question they're going to be on. So like, did you have to write that grievance out or like that was some shit that they came to you with? Like, how did the grievance even, how did you, you know what I'm saying? Because some niggas right now, they saying it's I, not I, a grievance. I requested the grievance. So you did request I requested it. Yeah, you requested so normally that. if you request a grievance, you you pretty much signing up to go to war with the police. Yeah. Because they know you're going to be complaining about something they did. So when you, when you go for a grievance, you're signing up to go at it with the police. That's really, that's really who I went through with. So that's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a complaint towards whoever's in charge of you. That's how the shit popped off. So Jake is really desperately trying to make this into a, all I did was complain about the COs because I wanted to go to war because they were smashing my toes and my feet with toes. 